to cover acne and acne scarring. Like a solid base routine to cover acne and acne scarring because honestly, I feel like, you don't have bad skin, but I feel like I'm oh, pretty good at this no, no, because no. I, I, I think I'm good at this too. too. I have scarring, Me too. pimples, Me and Casey time. have constant gripe about the fact that we're like 28 and have teenager skin. Right, like hormonal acne like never before, which is like, love that for And us. we thought it was a good time because both of us are kind of like either breaking out or getting over breakouts. Mm -hmm. So like I have some stuff going on and it'll just make a great example. And for other girlies who deal with this, we see you, mm -hmm. we are you. It's and it's a struggle, hard. especially like, you just want to look right and tight. You do, yeah, you just want that glow, especially when you get on social media and everyone has perfect Big ass skin, skin, not a pore in sight. All these Barbie dolls. Like, you're just like, okay, like what's going on with me? But I actually feel like it's pretty normal, you know, to break out and have scarring and acne. Yeah. And these are just going to be some of our tips and what we do for our base routine to cover that up and fake good skin. Right, this is how you fake perfect skin. Wait, do my hands look fucking huge in the... Look at them. Wait, They're why do my hands same look size so big? Okay, right. should we get into it? Yeah, let's start. Okay, what do you start with? Okay, well, I feel like the first step is like... Skin prep. Skin prep. 100%, mm -hmm. I was gonna say that too. Yeah, and I feel like we both... Lindsay used this and told me to use it. It's the Sikaplast Balm B5. Mm -hmm. And it's like thick because I feel like when you have acne scars and acne, you don't want any of like the flakiness. That right, comes like with you it. don't want like the texture to show. Yeah. And this like hydrates really well and it also like is low key a good like makeup base primer. Mm -hmm. Like it works really well under makeup. And it also reduces a little bit of redness too. So if you don't have the Sikaplast, you need the Sikaplast. So once you've done that, then what do you do, Case? Okay, then I usually go in with like a glowy-ish primer because like I know you're not supposed to put glow products on the actual pimples, but I want to make my skin look poppin' like everywhere, everywhere where I else. don't have a pimple. So I'm giving the illusion that I have like glowy, plump, nice skin. Totally. So that's my skin. Totally, I yours? agree. I do the same thing, but I don't put any glow products like on those like areas. Right. And then on the areas where I do have breakouts, I put this Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. So I'll put that on like the spots where I don't want like the glowy product because that will help um, like mattify a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go in with this Lancome Blur Stick, Blur on the Go Stick, and just put that where I have like pores. To fill them in. Right, like where the skin is looking good, we want it to be popping. Yeah, like looking its best. And then on those other areas, we're trying to cover those up. Mm -hmm. Like, look at this scar right here. It's not even an active pimple. I literally it's singed completely off. Flat, yeah. I singed off my skin with actives. It's okay. Did you pick it or you just put? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like literally burned my skin off. But you know, when you're on a mission, you're on a mission. I, really I have another base thing that I do to fake perfect skin and that's to add like a glowy tan product because nothing makes me feel better than having like a good tan, glow. tan on. But I don't know if I need it right now because I used tanner last night. I'll do a little bit. And I won't add it like on the scarring or anything like that because we don't want to like darken that up anymore. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so now I'm gonna do like my first little layer of covering up like scarring and acne. 
Lindsay got me this camouflage corrector. So this is like supposed to cancel out purple and I have like a lot of like purpley deep red acne scarring on my cheeks. And this is like kind of like honestly cement, like you put it on <laughs> and it is a layer. So I, you really just don't need a lot. So I'm gonna go on with that on Wait, like when we first my flat that? stars. Oh my God, it literally, yeah, it's kind of like a little shocking. You don't need much. I just kind of like tap it on. Okay, and same, I just don't use the yellow. I use the green color. And I think it works better if you like put it on your finger first and kind of like warm it up before you tap it on. So like same as case. Like look how that like neutralizes the redness on this like big scar. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I'll put this on like my actual pimples. I'm gonna let it dry down just a little too. Okay, wait, I'm going in with the Kosas like in my normal concealer spots. I'm just doing like all my concealer at the same time. So like underneath my eyes and and then I'm going in with the Shape Tape concealer, which is I just picked up because of this thing. It was like I had plans on Thursday and I was like not trying to use the Kosas, which is a really light concealer. Um, and I was actually looking for the NARS pot concealer, but they didn't have it. Yeah. So I'm going to use the Shape Tape on these pimples and like case i'm not gonna blend it out yet okay now i'm just gonna i feel like when you're blending over pimples you don't want to like drag you yeah, just want to like tap it into your skin you don't want to move any of that product i've been using the makeup by ariel a14 it's more of like a fluffy brush I've been using it case for my concealer and I'm kind of obsessed with it. Really? It's like the Mary Phillips foundation but for, technique, but like for concealer and I'm kind of loving it. Wait, I've been really wanting a concealer brush because I just use my same foundation brush for concealer, but I feel like it really makes a difference. Okay, so even just like looking at myself after doing those two things, I feel like my skin tone looks like much more even, which is nice. We've laid the foundation to evening the skin. And now I'm just gonna go in with my Luminous Silk Ordeal Armani. This is a pretty full coverage like foundation, I'd say. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna start lightly circling that. And I'm um, gonna start with like putting it over my cheeks because that's where I have the most scarring. So that's where I want the most coverage. For my large spot over here, I'm not I'm not really like blending on the pimple, I'm just blending the edge because it's so big. If I'm breaking out really bad, then I'll usually use the Kosas because this is like a more full coverage. So that's why I usually use. Okay, I'm only using a little bit and I am using the Mary Phillips technique. Ooh. I love it. All right, I'm gonna go with contour too, but I have like a lot of scarring on my cheeks, so. If I feel like I'm having like a lot of pigment and stuff, I'm really just going to keep it on parts of my skin that are like still smooth because I don't want the contour to like sit in my scars if you have pockmark scarring. So like this is where all my scars are. I'm going to make sure I'm not putting it there because it would just end up looking really muddy. This contour wand, like I love the color so much, but like can they please redo the packaging? It sucks. Like there is in no universe is this a good packaging. I know. Everyone says that too. Like, like they've they gotten in? so much feedback on it. I'm like, I know. It's I'm surprised horrible. that Tarte did the same thing too. Because that was that. the biggest complaint from people. About it, yeah. Like literally look at me. To get products out of here. It's dumb. It is dumb. Lately I've been using the Benetton Go Go Tint. For my cheek. Okay. Now that I added all my wet products, <laughs> they're not wet, they're like green. Um, I'm just spraying and like I'll really try and make sure that I'm getting that area so that like it kind of melts. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, now that our base is complete, we're just gonna do our eyes and everything else as normal. So Plot twist, I'm actually gonna start over on this pimple that's 
right next to my nose. You can see her because I put the elf on and I don't know why I said this because this is like too dry for a pimple that has like dry skin on it. So I'm going to go with the hourglass one, which is also full coverage, but isn't as dry. I'm just going to start there and let that sit for a second. Okay, I'm using Casey's Buxom lip liner and I'm so excited. We love this Buxom. Yeah, the, that's like good packaging. Okay, now I'm going to start kind of just like feathering it like Lindsay said. Feathering it around yeah. the edge. Mm -hmm. I need like a better brush to do this. Wait, you want to try this one? Yeah, can I try it? Yeah. This is like in a corner, so my brush is too big. Too big. Wow, that's nice. It's kind of a game changer, like a feathery brush, because it doesn't take up too much product. Wait, that is so nice. Yeah, I don't know why, but when I do my makeup, I feel like by the end, some of the concealer has come off those spots, and you do kind of have to go back in. Okay, yeah, she's not great because, like, she's pimple, you know, but, like, she's looking better. Oh, way better than the e.l.f. Yeah. Way better than the L. Thank you. This brush is great. I need something like that. It's so good for like feathering. Yeah. I'm just going back in on the top of mine and then I'm just going to tap it with this brush. I'm going to spray it with this to melt it. Melt it in a little. Okay, I'm gonna go with like a little bit of my foundation, just feather that too, just because I the am concealer too. is a little too light. Too light. Wait, same exact thing. Yep, I'm doing that too. I'm just like really, really gently tapping. I'm also trying to like even it out on both sides, so like this side is lighter, so I'm adding more foundation and stuff on this side so that like my sides look even thank you okay i'm gonna go on one more time with a little bit of spritz just on those areas that i just went in again on okay so now we put on the rest of our makeup we're gonna go in with like our final finishing steps right yeah setting spray or setting powder yeah so we're both using the one size i know yeah also hack if you have acne this is like one of the best setting powders I'm putting it down here just because I have like some scarring that like just darkness from the scarring that like tends to peek through and I want like below my contour to be like really bright. And then I'm just like really light handedly going in with like a little bit of powder and just putting it on the pimple and like below the pimple to get rid of any like shadows. I'm gonna switch to this. Charlotte Tilbert, or yeah, I guess this is the airbrush finishing powder just for my for my pores right under my eye. And I would use this one, but I think this is the lightest shade and it's actually like a little bit too dark for like my lightest areas, like where I want to keep it really light. I'm finishing my lips with the Marcucci Juicy Lip Plump and Peachy Beige. Okay. Okay. Should we do a close up? Yeah. Which one? This oh, you can't even see it. Me just flaring my nostrils in the air. And then this is the scar that I had. You can see it's like a little bit discolored right there. I wish that it wasn't so big like this hair. And then I have some stuff over here, but you can't really see it anymore. You really can't see any of it. This is how we fake good skin. If you guys have any tips, feel free to leave them in the comments below we are all ears don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe let us know what you guys want to see next like this video if you like this type of content throw us a comment go crazy and we'll see you guys next week we'll see you next week